Hi everyone, it's Dr. G, Sarah. Um, we were doing a live stream and we were following the module at aka.ms slash learn with Dr. G slash collaborate with Git. And it's this module here. And there was some weird things that were happening when we were printing out the logs once we started to add remotes and things like that. So I just wanted to answer it because I figured out what was happening um, and why it looked strange. Okay, so. So far, what we've done is we've created a um, cats folder that uh, we did a git init for and um, has one commit where we just added, or sorry, two commits where we added the empty files and the simple HTML and style sheet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go do the module at that link. Um, and we're, we're just kind of at this point. Now what we've done is we have uh, created a new directory uh, next to cats right? So at the home directory here named Alice, and we've cloned cats into that directory. So that's where we're at so far. Um, this is unit three um, of, of this module. So two things here. Number one, if we did git log dash dash one line, we can see that Alice's working directory. So this folder for Alice, origin master and origin head are all at the same commit message adding the simple HTML. If we run git remote dash V, we can see that origin right now is set to cats, okay? So if you were to do any kind of push, pull, fetch, et cetera, it would be going to cats. So starting at the Alice directory, going up one directory, that's the dot dot, and then going into cats. That's where origin is pointing to right now because we did a git clone of cats. So that's what it's pointing to, okay. So that's gonna help us out a little bit. Let's go ahead and continue with this. Okay, so now we have made some changes to site.css. We've done a git commit, and now Alice's working tree, like Alice's repository, knows that it is at this commit here where we're changed changing the background color, but origin master and origin head, which remember are pointing to cats, are still back at simple HTML and style sheet, okay? So that's where that is at right now. Let's go ahead and continue by having Alice open up a pull request. Okay, so when we open up a pull request, Alice is not going to get any notification of whether or not that pull request got pulled in, right? So Alice has her code over here and she's just asking some origin repository, some remote repository, hey, can you pull my stuff in, right? But she won't know what actually happens to that unless she does a poll to confirm that her stuff got pulled in to that repo, okay? Just for now. Okay. So um, if we were to do a git log dash dash one line at this point, we're still at the same point because origin has not accepted that pull request yet. So it's just kind of sitting there waiting to potentially be accepted. Now we're gonna continue by adding remotes into things. Okay, so now we're inside of cats. And we can see that cats has just added a remote called Alice that points to that Alice directory. Okay, we've got a fetch and a push here. Origin for cats, because we didn't clone anything, we created it here inside of the cats folder, that repo. Origin for cats is just cats, right? Like it doesn't really exist yet. We're, we're just kind of working locally. So the only remote repository that is associated with cats right now is the Alice repository, which is just someone else's repo. And inside of cats, the only thing we know about are these two commits that we did previously. The commit where Alice changes the background color, we don't know about that yet. We know that Alice exists as a remote repository that's associated with this repo, but we have not pulled in her commit yet. Um, we have not accepted her pull request yet, so we don't know about that commit. Okay, 
So now we see that our current working directory for cats and the Alice remote repository are at the same place. They're at change background color to, to light blue. So now if we go into Alice, we can see that cats understands that it is at this point here, right? But Alice knows that she's moved to the background color, but she doesn't know that Katz has accepted her pull request. Because remember, this is just Git. This is not GitHub. This doesn't have all of that extra connectivity. This is just, you have to explicitly do all of the commands. So the last thing that Alice knew was that she sent her code to Katz and asked that Katz pull in her code but she doesn't know what Katz has done yet. So if we wanna actually see that, basically Alice just has to make sure that she pulls in all of the changes from Katz. So far, the only change that has happened has been that Katz pulled in her request. Okay, so Katz was at add simple style sheet. Alice cloned Katz. Alice made changes. Alice was at change background. Alice said, hey, Katz, do you want this? Katz said, yep. So now Katz is at changed background. Alice doesn't know that until she does a pull. And then she's like, oh, cool. We're all at the same point. All right. So what was confusing yesterday was this part right here, at least for me, this part confused me because we had already done this pull request. We had already kind of set up all of these remotes, all of that. And since I'm not often looking at the actual kind of branches of what's happening and I rely on GitHub to help me with that visual kind of diff and, and walk through the whole Git process, um, I forgot that, of course, Alice won't know what Katz is doing unless she does a poll. And that's going to make sure that we're all kind of on the same page. So the kind of, you know, moral of this story and investigation is make sure that you go into the repository like folder you know account or whatever um to know what that repo knows for sure because that repo is the only one that'll know what it knows and don't forget to pull polling is so so important um it helps you get all of the up-to-date information of what's happening with all of your remote kind of connections so I hope that explained it and I hope that you have fun on your Git journey. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye everyone.